Fill her up. You're listening to the Gas Digital Network. Hey, everybody listening to The Thing Is. I'm Shannon. Thanks for coming back to join us. Do you like ghosts and ghosts? Do you have fights and fights and? Do you have bad days and days and? Do you like ghosts and ghosts and? Ow, the thing is, ow, ow, the thing is, ow, ow, the thing is, ow, ow. Hey guys, this is Shannon. You're listening to The Thing Is. Thanks for coming back to join us. I'm here as always with my hilarious co-host, comedian Mike Figs. You know, I'm a little upset. You got a way hotter guy as a guest, so I don't know. <laughs> I have to yeah. call the bullpen and get the right in. <laughs> Happy to be here, Shani. What's going on? Oh, you guys are matching. Does that make you feel better? No, no, or worse? no. This guy's a stud. He looks <laughs> like he jumped out of Shameless or something. He looks like a hot guy. Shameless uh, is really top of conversation today. I know because of that. Uh, because of that whole thing. The that feet went on. thing. The feet yeah. thing. Yeah. What happened with the feet thing? Oh, we'll, we'll get it. We'll touch on it All in a right. second. But I want to introduce you first. <laughs> I'm sorry, you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> so joining us today, it is comedian and host of the. Say it. Foster Care. <laughs> that accent gets me hard, dude. Oh, okay. <laughs> that jersey, that, that WAP accent. I love it. I love this guy. WAP accent. <laughs> is that WAP? Is that, what is that? New York? It's I just it's just, like, it's like fucking Diggy WAP Guinea, over here. Guinea Brooklyn yeah, accent. Yeah, yeah. It's Ryan Foster. Welcome no, I made to the show. Fuck, yeah. Thank you for having me. What's up? Thank you for Let's coming go. in. So we were talking about this on Fig Talk before the show started. I was listening, and I feel like you hate when I listen before the show. Oh, do you want to pour us stuff? Yeah, of course. Pour shout, out Arthur, shout out Arthur Cantina. For our beautiful bottle of Tito's, ArthurCantina.com. Thank you, guys. You Make guys sure you fuel you fuel the show. You fuel the show. We were talking about that we might have a problem, yeah. yet Shani is ready for war. Oh, we should touch on that. Oh, it's gonna be Someone's been drinking our stuff. Beginning. It's not us. <laughs> what's going on? Is What's the cantina? Is that like a website you order booze from? You yes. Order booze from, and they, they supply us with booze. And we've noticed that we've been cracking a bottle an episode. But I think someone's drinking Three our people. shit. Three people. Yeah. Three people's good. Yeah. Last week it wasn't a third person drinking no. though; it was just the two of us. Thank you. Whenever you want Tito's, brother, I got Make sure you. you. Grab some. You're not gonna pour me a drink, dude. I'll do it, Daddy. I, you were, Daddy, we were drinking old fashioned. You <laughs> want my beak? You want yeah. a double? We're gonna double I'll fucking double day. This isn't even. A, I, th- I thought it was a Manhattan. You're right. It's That's what my mom drinks. Manhattan or, or old fashioned? Manhattan. Uh, and old Har- fashioned. Harrington, you have something? So I my do grandma. know that Chris from Brooklyn will often find himself in the studio and assume. That open booze bottles are Tom's. Oh, oh, well. Do you My think boy, Tom, Fishtown Tom. Do you think Tom would leave <laughs> yeah. booze behind? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Tom is. <laughs> Tom is known for leaving like wounded soldiers along the way that he can come back for. Oh, I will say though, I, I can't even defend us. Yeah, I can't because like, we've drunk in we, things we, that we've, we've gone fought. through it on the episode, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and then leave like this much left in the Tito's bottle. So it's not on you though, dude. Leave yeah. an old man bottle around. That's any man's. <laughs> no. Whoever grabs it. Guy. Whoever grabs it. <laughs> yes. I love everything say, about say this Say grab. Oh, I, don't, I don't think it's grab. Oh, you don't drag it like that? Grab. Oh, you need an O. No, that's a Philly thing, I think. Yeah, grab. grab. We're going to we're gonna end, up, bag, we're, we're gonna end up doing heroin at the I end of this episode. I don't do that either. And I can't wait. Mine I'm not are... doing heroin, dude. I got two dead heroin addict <laughs> brothers. We're not oh, doing I'm that. sorry. I'm sorry. We'll save that for scary things. I'm good. We'll get to that far. I'm a coke guy. Yo, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We should have saved it for like a Christmas episode and do a... What is it? The Cove He's like, medium? I'm Santa Claus, dude. <laughs> I'll do a 19-hour <laughs> episode, dude. Get a ball in here. <laughs> get busy. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Best boy. guest. Favorite guest. Let's go. Okay, so before we get into the segments, one thing I want to talk about. I made a mistake yesterday. I was taking an Uber from Pennsylvania to Staten Island. Fuck me. So that's the first. That's the first mistake. So I get into it, and already I'm apologetic. Even when I go from the city to Staten Island, I'm like, I'm so sorry. You have to go into this other borough. <laughs> But to go from Pennsylvania to Staten Island, I'm like, oh, like I'm so I'm so scared to get into this because it's going to be a whole thing. He's going to be like, what the fuck? Is exactly. Your problem? <laughs> yeah. So I get in and I'm, I'm like, as soon as like his thing registered that I'm in the car, I was like, I know, I'm sorry. It's going to be one, two, three. We're going to have a great time. Don't you even worry. And I'm being so nice and whatever about it. <laughs> and so um, he's hesitating, and I'm like, are you gonna are you gonna cancel this? Are you gonna kick me out? Like, yeah. let's. I was like, come on, please. I have no no other choice. I waited 12 minutes already. And he's like, no. <laughs> I waited 12 minutes for you <laughs> yes. to drive four hours. Yes. <laughs> you did the wait and save. That's a classic broad <laughs> No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't do the wait and save. I was like, come right now. And then I had a three minute one, and then it canceled. Then it was a 12 minute one. Okay. But it turns out he had to go into Brook- to Brooklyn anyway. Yeah. And it's like you did him a solid. Right, like you're getting paid to go into that direction. Yeah, like, what are you bitching home. about? Yeah. But so now because I already came into it very friendly, 
Mm-hmm. Now he thinks that like we're gonna no no I don't uh, I didn't take it that way. Get so <laughs> how often do you go back from Staten Island? So he's black guy. Cologne. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a Bluetooth headset. In. <laughs> do you like cool water? Hold on, let me spray Draco Noir. No, it was a black guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, so, <laughs> Bluetooth headset. <laughs> yeah. I know. I, I know. I wish he would have like been on the Bluetooth headset. Yeah. But so now, so now again, I, my fault. I started off too friendly. So now a conversation starts, and I yeah. just want to like watch a movie. Yeah, now you're getting crushed for two hours. <laughs> no. yeah, no. I look at like hour forty minutes. I watch a movie. I'm home. Bing, bang, boom. And so now we start, and then he asked me, "Oh, so what do you do?" First, he asked me about like my parents' house because leaving for my parents, and he's like, uh, "Is your dad a veteran?" And I'm like. I don't even know how to like avoid answering that question. <laughs> yeah, guns in the house? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I make sure. And he, I was like, why would you ask that? And he's like, it seems very patriotic. And then I'm like, now does he think it's like, oh, we're all like Trump supporters and this is a black guy and he's going to go back and kill mm-hmm. everybody? Like, this is what's going on. I'm going to make a pissed up at Brooklyn real quick, <laughs> hey, baby. What's out front of your parents' yeah. house? <laughs> what? What's out front of your parents' house? A flag and it's it's all, you know, it's. America it's sucks. Wait a it. second. You're leaving something out. A flag. I don't want to like, flag. I don't want to get a cross on fire. <laughs> KKK hood on top of the Christmas tree. <laughs> you know, uh, Nancy Pelosi <laughs> with, with a katana on her back. Mega 2024, whatever, whatever. <laughs> what, what is just a flag? It's the flag. I guess is the main part. I don't want to give like a million describing details okay, so about the house. There's other things but... too. No, it's I... a Confederate flag, but <laughs> it's, 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 kind of flag. it's still red, white, and blue. <laughs> so anyway, so now as we're driving, now he asks what I do for work. Okay. And I feel like comedians usually know to avoid answering that. Yeah. But like podcast producer, whatever, I'm like, oh, it's <laughs> even gayer than comedian. Yeah. <laughs> <No, no. laughs> Shit. I realize I should. Oh, you work for the radio, girl? <laughs> yeah. Which radio you work for, baby? It's worse than that. Oh no. So once I say that, he was like, he, t- he was silent for a moment, and then I feel bad now in case he watches this. <laughs> he definitely. But- <laughs> Black I'm a driver paying for gas digital. I don't think. <laughs> I don't think it's you don't give me a promo code. Oh, baby, hold on. You give me a promo code, girl. I listen to that shit. So he says, it's so crazy that you say that because I myself host a podcast. Yeah, no way. And so now that the remainder of this it's hour over. and a half trip. Say goodbye to watching the movie. He was Fuck. playing clips from Instagram of his oh, podcast. Oh, no. The Guerrilla whole, marketing, whole dude. Oh, <laughs> I didn't mean that no. in a racist way. Oh, we got to clip that out. Clip it. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Shit. And it's like, I, I don't even know how to pull. I don't know how to get out. I couldn't you ever get You're out stuck. of it. stuck. He's behind a wheel. Your it. life is in his hands. He's got to start acting retarded at that point. Yeah. <laughs> start drooling. Oh, <laughs> 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 pretend to fall asleep. I don't yeah. know. I didn't know how to get out of it. Start farting or something. <laughs> you got to pull out all the stops. A black guy would not like a fart. He'd be like, you just fucking fart in my car, girl? That would be a tight move. If you're like a chick, if you get a new, you should have a fart machine on you all the time. Yeah. Just start just ripping sound. farts. Right, right, this girl's fucking got autism. I'm gonna let yeah. her go. Oh boy. She's farting in the back. <laughs> Racist parents <laughs> fart machine. Fuck that, all right, baby. Don't worry, baby. You do, do your own thing. That might be some guy's lane though. Racist <laughs> oh, girl <laughs> farts nonstop. <laughs> And oh, she boy. farts and she does podcasts. He did talk about like Sorry, his I'm wife. <laughs> oh, I just went don't say it that, that way. <laughs> yeah. He did talk about a wife though, so I don't think he was flirting. I really think he was trying to get like podcasting information. Yeah, he was like, oh shit, okay. But it went on forever. A nice guy. I mean, if you are watching, you're great, and thank you for getting me home safely. Yeah. But uh, wow, I was like imprisoned for that two hour uh, drive home. What movie you were gonna watch? Oh, I don't know. I was just gonna scroll through. I'm like, watch. I watch because, like, I'm a, I'm a girl. So, like, whatever, like, garbage, uh, like Netflix Rom-com? Christmas movies come yeah, up. Right. I'm like, oh, let me try this. It's just like a cute, easy watch. Yeah. I did that on the way there, and it went one, two, three. So, I was like, let me find that, another one. How much is that? Gap? I don't know. Oh, that's what I was wondering. One seventy two. So, he, so coming back, it was oh, it was over one fifty. <sighs> Going because I went on the weekend, it was over two fifty. Fuck me. How is it a hundred dollar swing? Why not the train? Didn't take no tra- no train? You're not a train lady? So to go from Staten Island to there, I'd have to come into the city. Uh, yeah, it would be like four days travel. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. yes, fly yeah. to Bangladesh. To get <laughs> yeah. parents house. Fuck. Dude. Wow. Yeah, so that was, uh, I made a mistake. That's the worst thing. So now I think that it's Uber VIP or whatever for a couple bucks more where you could swipe. I know. The X or I whatever. Don't yeah. And don't like, talk to don't me. Quiet. But then I feel like an asshole to do that because they're going to be like, oh, 
who's this person? That's no, like, you go yeah, you thought he was going to kill your parents before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd you want to be quiet? You want me to be quiet, girl? I'll be quiet, bitch. Don't worry yeah, about fuck. it. No one's going to hear shit. He's put a silencer on the top of his gun. No one's going to hear shit, girl. Finishes his Pepsi and just screws it onto his glass. Yeah. Yeah. Is, 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 is this a jail a ginger ale. <laughs> drinks his ginger ale. Oh, he drank a coconut water, oh, by the way. I'm a big coconut water guy. You, like, you don't like coconut water? I love coconut water. Coconut yeah. 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 Coconut water. He stopped to get coconut water and uh, like a... What's that like? Smart food popcorn. He's not like healthy, that. and he doesn't eat meat. I learned that also. Smart food popcorn is not healthy. It just says <laughs> I mean, smart health, food. Healthier, yeah. healthier. Yeah, yeah. there is he, cheese in it. You're, wait, the Uber driver is allowed to make a pit stop? He stopped to get gas, and then he ran oh, out of the car to get okay. a drink get and a snack. snack. Did, yeah. he, yeah. did he offer you a snack? Yes, he did. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Did wow. you get anything? I did not. Damn. Do you want? Do you want? I get anything you want. Yeah, true. The hell you want? So yeah, that's that. That's that story. Oh, and I have one. Oh, I have one suggestion for a document, a new documentary to watch because you, you're never going to watch. Were you a I dork you. in school? A little bit, right? <laughs> <laughs> he's just got like a fucking. He's a medium. You didn't tell me he was a medium too. We usually have like psychics and stuff. You I'm an him. expert in women. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, Shut she's up. got like a file folder. <laughs> okay, this is for all she's the shows. Her case. <laughs> she's got a five star. No, <laughs> I don't like what's happening here. This is great. This is for all the shows though. Like, I, I brought a to... pack of stickers to put on every note you have. I like that. <laughs> this podcast. I like that. <laughs> you see right through you, Shannon. I don't know hey. how he's doing it. I have to keep track. But what else would I that do? That tan ain't gonna fool me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Highlight your hair all you want I'll see right through that shit <laughs> my roots are so bad and I have no tan so thank you for saying this like, no, you it. are very tan you're tanner than me I look like fucking yeah. yogurt <laughs> but it's you got a nice color thank you yeah, hey, you, do, you do match with us ethnics I'll take it yeah you need one white guy to keep it normal. Yeah, please, <laughs> keep it normal. please do. You make my Polish... parents. You make my parents very happy. Yeah, 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 <laughs> <no> yeah. <white laughs> guy. Fucking Hitler, Barbie, dude. <laughs> Let's go. Um, okay, so um, a suggestion for a documentary series. Yeah. Because again, okay, we talked about the cult ones, and now this one's called "Bad Surgeon: Love Under the Knife," and it's basically the Tinder swindler uh, ma- uh, matched with um, Doctor Death which is like the, doc- the spine surgeon that just like maimed everybody. Yeah. It's basically those two put into one person. Oh, hell yeah. So he's like scamming women and also killing people. A surgeon. Oh, Two of my favorites. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, that it sounds just a, good. Just a suggestion. What's it on? Netflix. Okay. And right. it's like six episodes. You guys episodes. true crime people? Is that what we're talking here? I'm a true, I'm a true, true crime. I'm a docu- I like documentaries, cr- uh, but I do like true yeah. crime. I love the whole way up here. I listen to this podcast called Obscura. You ever hear that? I Yes, I've heard it talked about. I haven't listened I think to it's, it, though. It's the only Patreon I have because, dude, it's so like graphic. He got kicked off iTunes. Really? So has, dude, it's like some some of the episodes, I'm like, I can't. I can't Whoa. do this. Really? Too much? Too graphic yeah. with words? No, he plays like... Uh, if like if something got committed on film, he'll play the audio That's of it. Fun. Like the one, I mean, some of them are fun. <laughs> some I of them. Like are like, yeah. There's a guy. I forget what the dude's oh, name wait, cheers, is. Cheers, guys. By the way, cheers, 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 cheers everybody. everybody. Cheers, cheers, at home. cheers, cheers. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't sure if you were Italian, Puerto Rican, and then I'm I saw a the necklace. That's what I am. Re- and both. I'm fucking yeah, hitting I'm it today, dude. Baby. I'm playing the lottery this guy's on the way a, home. This guy's a man. <laughs> the wigger wizard, dude. Usually I get turned out, we got like lady porn stars, but you're here, and I'm like, I don't know. I'm questioning everything. That's what they don't tell you that when you start comedy, how many dude comedians are going to call you hot. Yeah. They don't prepare you for that. Yeah, because we're all kind of gay in a weird way. <laughs> yes. yeah. It's like better. locker room. It's like being part of a football team. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like when you play football, you fucking, ah, you see, you fucking smack. But it's, you're not gay. Comedy's yeah. kind of like that. Kind of a lot yeah. of gay shit, but you're There's not gay. There's also like so many gross comedians. Oh, disgusting. So it's Slop. like when they're like, a, a, like a, a nice look when they're like, we have to harp on this. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. Gotta get, yeah true. Yeah, but you, like, I would pay money to watch you fight Matt Reif. And everyone would be on the, his side. I've said it before. I'd beat the brakes <laughs> off Matt Rush. Yeah, there's something about like we like we know this guy went to jail. He's a fucking man. I went to jail for 36 hours one time. Yeah, we're gonna say it? we're gonna oh, cut, we're gonna cut that out That'll, for months. That'll be bad things. Yeah, we're, yeah. we'll move that back. We're gonna <laughs> yeah, take out the, it, the hours. I did 13 months. years <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for Perfect. aggravated sexual assault. <laughs> no, I don't like that one. No, kidding. Oh, right. Take it again. Take it again. Just kidding. Saving puppies. But um, no, there was a. Did you hear Adam Britton? No. I just heard a podcast about this. Apparently, he was like an Australian or a British national moved to Australia, and he opened up like a, um, I guess he was like some kind of fucking, he was like the next Steve Irwin, apparently. <laughs> and he, this guy was taking in people's dogs and then killing them and having sex yes. with them on the internet. Yes, you I did about hear about this? this. I didn't remember the name, but I saw the article yeah. recently, right? Yeah, yes. it was like maybe last year. Dude, it's fucking insane. And somebody like snitched on him on like whatever website the that Freak podcast Show. covers it. Obscura. Yeah, it was on Obscura. Obscura, dude, it's fucking. Du- yeah, I was like, you can't, ah. I can't listen to it on iTunes at all. 
No. Wasn't wow. he like also? Uh, he puts out some on iTunes. Okay. But then most of them are on This Patreon. guy, Adam Britton, wasn't he also like married? And like his yeah. wife didn't know anything about it, and, and they kept the taking all kinds know. of animals. Like, you yeah. didn't know your husband oh, was yeah, fucking dogs. Like, we're jumping all, jumping all over the place here. But um, that um, what's the guy, the Long Island murderer? Serial Lisk. Yeah, that with the wife. Yeah, he was, he was yeah that his wife. That wife yeah. just they found her DNA on one of the bodies recently. Yeah, that's crazy. That but I'm like, that makes it make sense. That's I mean, great. What a lady great hair could be on anything. True. I'm finding like six ex girlfriends ago on my fucking couch. That is true. That is true. What kind of DNA was it? Hair or was it? I didn't didn't read the article. I just read the thing. Uh, By the way, that is Lady (laughs) Splooge. It was square. They they... They tested for it. CSI did (laughs) some analysis. Hey, man, this is square. This is Lady lady Calm. (laughs) This is piss. That's piss. By the way, that's the hardest thing. Like, as a girl, if you find a different girl's hair on your boyfriend, it's the hardest thing to really pin him for. Because that could really be through any travels during the day, but probably not. Yeah. But you can't prove it. <laughs> I brushed it. up yeah. against a hot chick. <laughs> yeah. Pussy hair gets on people's yeah. clothes all the time. Yeah, that's a it's different dangerous. one. <laughs> I've had to tell my girl about wigs. So you like, you know, like I do characters or whatever, and I have like a fucking wig on for like you know whatever show I'm on. Drag and brunch or whatever. And, yeah, it'll be like a blonde. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. I had to they read pay, a book to some pay, kids. They pay, good, my books. they pay good money. All right, it's the fucking New York. And I would have like I think that one time with Zach when I had the wig. I was on, gonna say you just always blame it on Zach. And, and I had and I a little long black piece of hair got like stuck somewhere. And my girl was like, "What the fuck is this?" And I was like, "Babe, I like pulled up the episode. I'm like, I'm wearing a wig." Also, it was oh, like that's very... nice. So you pull up video evidence. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, baby girl, that was that wig. I was babe. Relax. Also, if it was that night, that was a very intoxicated you going home and yeah. trying to uh, get yourself out of that. <laughs> yeah, I was oh, like, yeah, that story's like, hey. falling apart. <laughs> yes. Baby, relax. <laughs> like a jaw. I chewed a lot of gum. I'm locking up. Like, it was a wig, baby. You know I love you. You're gonna be in Hollywood or not? <laughs> okay, let's. I wanna. I have a feeling that um, you're gonna have a lot of great, great stories, Hell and yeah. I want to make we'll sure see. we can get through all of them. So go. let's let's start. Let's get into the I'll first do my one. Best. By the way, I have. I hate to be a Lewis, but I have Instacart. Can I do a couple Sorry, retarded so. stories yes, per sir. section? Absolutely. Of course. Yes, yeah, that's why I do want to start. I start, start right. soon. So the first segment is usually we ask new guests on the show to tell a story about either. Look at you go. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> either, either your weirdest sexual. Oh, hold on. Before I ask you this, I want to say one thing, just to just to preface the whole episode to the listeners. When Figs came in today, yeah, he, I, I, well, I, I was coming out of the bathroom and Thank I overheard you. him saying, "Today is the day," Today's and I was like, day. "Oh, what are you talking about?" Yeah. And then you were saying, "Is it okay to say this?" Yeah. And then you were saying that um that we're gonna get drunk today, yeah. and I'm like, we have been going so yeah. hard the last few episodes. How can it be worse? So just letting the <laughs> listeners know, this is Figs and Figs is intentions. I gotta behave. Today. I gotta drive home. <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna get too crazy. You yeah. guys can get crazy as you want. No, we but then I get so hungover. Like, and I have True. a long day tomorrow. It's gonna be a real. Thing. I'm gonna finish these two things, and I'm chilling. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> we'll have a little bit more. I'm not buying that. We're gonna monitor the bottle go down yeah. as we go. And that's all. Hey guys, we're gonna take a moment to talk about one of our awesome sponsors, Magic Mind. Uh, I recently got this amazing little drink. I threw it in my fridge, and I started drinking it in the morning. It's made me feel amazing. I can focus. I can work harder, better. Uh, It's got ashwagandha in it. I love it so much. (laughs) I love that you remember that one thing that's in it. Yeah, because ashwagandha helps you with things like libido. It helps (laughs) you with with, uh, overall daily energy. It's been fantastic, and it tastes great. It's got matcha in it. Magic mind. I I love it. I want to say, I for real, look, there's no video here. But I'm looking at figs directly. Yeah. I'm not reading the read because I'm too drunk to. Yeah. And I love this product. And I reached out to Tom from our ad sales team. And I was like, can you please ask them to send some more? But if they won't, I will buy it because I for real love it. Yeah. And I reached out to you, Figs, and I was like, Oh, if you're not if you're not using it, give me some of them. And I've been using it. And I and I say to myself, I'm like, I've noticed that I've been more functional, just kind of like more productive. And I said to my and I, every time I take it, I'm like, is it the fucking magic mind? After like four days, I'm like, oh yeah. It's it the is. Fucking magic it like mind. makes yeah. the beginning of the day like more workable. It's like at the beginning of the day, I'm like, oh, if I don't have to like come into the studio, I'm like, do I want to get out of bed at this moment? And then on the days that I have it, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna get out of bed. I start cleaning. I do stuff. It makes a huge difference. And I know maybe you guys won't believe me because you think this is part of the read or whatever. I swear to God, I love this product and I really feel that it makes a huge difference. Just try it. Try for try for uh, 10 days. You get 50, Three days. Three days in three a row. Days. Do it three days in a row. But then you're going to love it and you're going to be sad that it's gone. You're going to be sad that it's gone. And if you use our code DING, you get 56% off. So just fucking start the subscription, use the promo code, and use it for a month. See but, how you feel in a month. 
So you have to go to magicmind.com slash ding and then use the promo code ding. 56% off. So that's more than half. I mean, that's crazy. That's crazy. You're not going to get that anywhere else. No, what, what fucking ads uh, give you 56% off? You tell me. And I mean, I, I don't want to guarantee it, but I'm just telling you me personally, I freaking love it. I don't take any sort of caffeine afterwards. Uh, and they say like, still have your caffeine. So if you're like a caffeine person, have it. But like for me, this is all I need to start my day. It makes me happy. It makes me ready to start my day. It makes a huge difference for me. So try it. And then also tell me what you think. DM me because I'm curious to hear other people's uh, reactions. Hit us up. Use the promo code DING. Now, where were we guys? Okay. So first question we normally ask new guests is to tell a story about either your worst dating experience, like a worst date or weirdest sexual experience. I could do like weird. Can I do like weird dating experience like overall? Yeah, Yeah, of course. There was a chick. (laughs) My, um, it's like a long story, right? My little sister beat up some chick in middle school, right? She gets in a fight with this girl, beats her up. When they, the two girls get suspended that they're friends with, the dad, my stepdad and this girl's dad meet. Right. And they become friends. So like three years later, they're still friends. And I come over and the dude's over at the house. I never met him before. He's like, yo, you would love my daughter. I was like, okay. And I like left. I was like, out. And then he's like, oh, she's coming to visit next week. So she comes the next week and she's fucking, she was hot. And uh, (laughs) I met her and I was like, all right, I got to go. I was like, I'm not going to fuck my dad's best friend's daughter. And my stepdad yells out the front window. He's like, yo, thanks for not fucking her. I was like, all right. So, like, a couple weeks later, my mom was, like, they they were going out to happy hour. So, I met up with them. I ended up fucking her. And we hooked up a few times. And she was, like, oh, I'm visiting from California for, like, the week. And she was, like, you want to be my boyfriend for the week? I was, like, yeah, for sure. Done deal. A boyfriend experience. So, it <laughs> goes, week is fine. So like, two weeks later, she's, like, hey, what are you doing tonight? I'm, like, my life. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Just leave me the fuck alone. Nothing I want to do with you. So, then she's, like, she ends up staying for, like, a month. Eventually, she leaves, goes back to California. And then comes back to live with her dad. Wait, I have a question. So the remainder of the time, did you ignore her the rest of the time she's there? No, I kept fucking her. She was oh, hot. Got it. But, you know, I, I was like avoiding it some because I was like, she's crazy. Okay. But um, so we kept hooking up and she comes back. We hook up again and I was like, hey, like our families are friends. It probably isn't the best idea. <laughs> and she gets fucked up and tells my mom. She's like, I moved back for him, like to be be with him. Damn. And I was like, yeah, now. And uh. So unbeknownst to me, I'm like living my life and Thanksgiving comes and I, I was, I was like hungover as fuck coming to my parents' house on Thanksgiving morning. And my boy calls me. He's like, yo, you know, blah, blah, blah. I was living in your childhood bedroom. No. She had a falling out with her dad. My mom moved her into my house. I got like a crazy Italian mom. So it was like hail Mary to, for me to have a baby, <laughs> get married. So she lived in my parents' house for like a year and a half. Year and a half. And eventually it got to the point where like, I kept telling them like, yo, she's crazy. My parents are like, you say every girl's crazy. I'm like, no, this girl, like this, that was like an excuse. But she's this crazy, crazy. And, she, and she's like buttering up your parents. Yeah. So they love her. They're like, she's, and she's great. What are you talking yeah. about? Just to verify. Half black, half Swedish. <laughs> crazy. Oh, great. <laughs> so hot. Just to verify. That this, sounds hot. Dude. <laughs> yeah, very hot. This is the girl that your little sister beat up? No, it's the girl my little sister's beat up. The girl my sister beat up, her her um her mom ended up marrying this guy, so th- it was this guy's kid stepdaughter. Yeah, it was his, no, it was his daughter, but his my <sighs> sister it beat up his stepdaughter. Pornhub is making sense? sense right now. Dude. All <laughs> the okay, things, okay, all yeah. the stuff that we see on Pornhub, Dude. it's like. My and trust me, if you saw her, it'd make more sister, sense. My stepsister, <laughs> my stepsister's Swedish black daughter. The girl my sister <laughs> like beat up just made me. like a balloon fucking uh, a balloon archway for my baby shower last month. <laughs> oh <laughs> my crazy. god, it's crazy. You'd be coming for months if you heard. <laughs> yeah, if you put this on film. I can't stand up. I rock hard. It was crazy. Disgusting. And uh. Uh, where did I leave off? So, 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 oh, so she's they, in the house now. You got to go to Thanksgiving. She's been in your room. Yeah, she's been in there. Like, dude, I went there the next year for like the a few months later. So November to Easter, I went there on Easter, and my mom's like, she's crazy. My family, we were getting like blackout drunk on fucking Easter. Wait, but how was Thanksgiving? I mean, it was fine. I was so hungover. I was oh. just like, this is the situation. What am I gonna get a fucking like fight about it? I think yeah. So it kept going. Like I went there for Easter. So, like, every time I would go to my parents' house, this girl was there, like, basically slutting it up, <laughs> like, yeah. trying to, you know what I mean? And I went there for Easter, and we're all drinking, and my mom's, like, fucking plastered at this point, drinking fucking <laughs> Manhattan's Easter morning, and she looked over at me, she's like, she's sad, fuck her, just fuck her, fuck her. I was like, no! She's sad, fuck her. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the title. My mom's a cool lady, shout out Denise, dude. <laughs> yeah. Your mom God. is the best. Oh, Wait, she this, rules. This chick is living at your parents' house just... 
holding her breath for the next holiday. Yeah, to get yeah. a chance. This or like, I would come over to take out trash that <laughs> was too heavy for on. my old stepdad. So I'd be like, yo, let me go. Did she it. message you between Lent and Easter at all? Or <laughs> we did would she like just talk wait a for the bit. holidays? <laughs> yeah, I gave up the basement pussy for <laughs> Lent. <laughs> like, oh my God. Dude, it was nuts. Were you fucking her at all? During these, you were. Yeah, you were giving her something. Okay. Well, if I fucking. How was the fucking? Good. Good. Well, she's too crazy. crazy. Yeah. She's crazy. How old were you? Uh, this was like. I was probably like 26. Okay, okay, okay. 27. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know. So you guys I'm are so bad yeah. at time, dude. And okay. she's similar age to you. She's a little older than me. Okay. I was trying to but figure yeah. out like where but you dude, were mentally. Okay. Oh, I was mentally in the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just like, you sound you know, like her Uber driver. You know how hard it is to go visit your mom and be like, hey, I, can I pick up some fucking macaroni and cheese and some pussy? It's oh brutal. My God. One stop shop. Like, yeah, sure, honey. Yeah. yeah. So you but, banged her in your old room. Yeah. Nice. Multiple times. <laughs> nice. Yeah, dude, the one point, at the one point, it was my one sister. I have another sister. It was her birthday. And, uh, was there a Donovan McNabb poster anywhere <laughs> in your room? No. Oh, okay. Sorry. No, I don't think I ever had a Donovan McNabb poster. Okay. I okay. loved him, though. Is that a <laughs> no, Philly sports player? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's her? No, that ain't her. That's but just close. a black Swedish lady. Swedish, close. Yeah. close. Very toy. Toy, close. toy. Beautiful. Close. God bless her. I hope she doesn't see this and come to my house and stab me. <laughs> oh, she's but, not uh, still living at your house? Nah, she's out. It out. She got booted. We'll get to that. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but, um,. No, what the fuck was I just going to say? Dude, my ADD is so bad. So Easter, yeah, my mom's like, she's sad. She's sick, she's sad, bad. Throw her some meat. Come on. Do it for me. (laughs) Do it for your mama. Yeah, so like we would hook up like randomly, and then eventually it got to the point where my parents were like, she might be crazy. (laughs) I was like, I fucking told you. Oh, yeah. It was the only time in my life my parents had been like, you were right on that one. What did she do for your mom and dad to be like, oh, It was just like like, drinking out of the milk. She's fucking. It was just so many things where they would be like. Like my one, my one sister's autistic, right? So my mom's gotta be at home and deal with that shit. Yeah. And then my dad would be, my stepdad would be like, "Yo, you need to not be in the house during the day," because like COVID, I think COVID happened. Was it like through? Like when I met my baby mom now, he, uh, she was still living in my basement, and I met her, and I was like, "Hey, there's a girl I used to date living in my basement." Right, my she girl just burned the house down. My girl <laughs> figured she was like a pig, <laughs> and then. <laughs> We go to, I forgot, I had a comedy show one night and I was dating the chick. She used to live like right on the corner from here. And she came down to Philly to go to this show. And we get to the show and that girl walks in. She's like, what the fuck? Like, she thought she was going to be ugly. But we're still going strong. Shout Wait out to my second. bitch. This is what, this is, my <laughs> mind right now is on this. When I was saying, when I asked you <clears throat> how old were I, I thought you were going to be like, oh, I was 21. No, nah, this was like. And I look at you. So this was like a couple of years ago. Yeah, I'm 30. What are you, 30? I'm 35. I'm 35 now. He okay. said during the pandemic. No, so it, no, it has to be. I might have been 31. When did you meet baby mama? Four years ago. Oh, okay. So yeah, this was okay, four, so four years ago. Never mind. Okay. I could have done that are you, math. Are you with baby mama? Or yeah, you still with her. Mama? Yeah, okay, we got okay, a house. Okay. Ah, it's a wrap. Ah, yeah. beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then Thank one more question. How long? That's your Italian side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you showed the baby mother. Ah, it's very good. Very good. Very good. Let me see pictures of this uh, Swedish girl's feet. I'll show both. Nice. Hey. How long did the girl like live in your parents' Over, house? Over like uh, it was at least a year. Oh, God. Yeah, it was fucking nuts. Okay. So my no, my autistic sister had the birthday party. And uh, she brought the girl that was in the basement brought her boyfriend over to like try to make me jealous. And this dude was a fucking weirdo. Like my one sister, my the other sister that beat up the girl's, I guess stepsister, was um like they got my little sister was fucked up and her boyfriend was like I'm gonna walk her up to her room. I was uh, like yeah, and I was like <laughs> he walked her upstairs and then my parents have like an old house and uh, there's like stucco on the basement stairs going down the wall. So I was like oh I'll go downstairs. And he, I rubbed his fucking face <laughs> down like a stucco wall, and then uh, yeah it was just a nightmare. But yeah, uh-huh. that was basically that story. That was a pretty weird dating story, right? <laughs> That's amazing. Nightmare. But That's also, nightmare. you have something to do with it. Oh, for sure. Because yeah. you were giving, you know, they say like the breadcrumbs, yeah. like you gave yeah. her <clears throat> hope along the way that like made her stick around. Because if you gave her nothing, she wouldn't have clung for so long. Yeah, but women, if you tell g- girls, you're like, I don't want to, I don't ever see a future with you ever. Okay, but when you're. But we can still hook up. They're like, well, I can trick you. I'm like, no. It's, okay. it's you yes gotta know, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. because it's also there. like they're going by like the um the actions more than the words yeah. and it's like oh but he's also still spending so much time with me yeah, or yeah, whatever yeah, 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 yeah. I have to you live in my parents house <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> we want me to not see my That's mother crazy. when's the last time you spoke to her 
Ah, uh, man. <coughs> years ago. Okay. Four, uh, four, four years, years ago. ago. Exactly yeah, right yeah, before. Good. Sorry. I really <laughs> would be like, oh, she's calling me. Yeah. <laughs> Coming at you live. <laughs> By the way, the garbage Christmas movie that I watched on my way to Pennsylvania is almost exactly the story. For real? What <laughs> yes. was it? It's called x Miss. So stupid. And, uh, like the, ex Miss? Yes. Yeah. And uh, it was like this guy, the his fiance broke up with him a few months, uh, a few months yeah. before. It's Christmas. And then he's like a depressed, whatever. He wasn't going to go visit his family. Then he de- he decides to um, su- surprise them. He goes, and then they have invited his ex-fiance over because they were together for like five years. They're all family, whatever. And then he walks in. He's like, what the fuck? Like, why is this girl here? And the whole time they're fighting and whatever. <sighs> and like, she's best friends with the family. She stays there. It's a whole thing. So this is like so similar to what you're saying. Yeah, dude. Yeah. And then, of course, they end up together at the end. Classic. Happily ever after. Wow, man. <laughs> it, it sounds... Overall, it sounds like a like you, like a good family. Like you sound oh, happy. My Your family mom is cool. Rules, a lot of drinking. It sounds good. I enjoy oh, that. Too much drinking, arguably. Yes. Yeah. It sounds like I, a happy. You know, I yeah. got an autistic sister that's like the funniest bitch ever. That's amazing. And my other sister's like a fucking. She's like a hound. She's like me. Got like a little, but she's like a midget. That's crazy. Yeah, we got a dude, crazy family. Like a dwarf? Like literally short? No, she's just small. My little sister's like 5'2". I feel like oh, anybody we have the same would be small next to you, though. Well, my stepdad, because like my stepdad raised me, right? So he's like 5'8", five, 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 maybe on a good yeah. day. I'll say 5'10", for the record. <clears throat> Drew. You respect and love <laughs> yeah. your stepdad? Oh, dude, he's my boy. That's good. I so gave like, him two inches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's yeah, good. They, uh, my mom married him when I was two. So that I didn't find out that he wasn't my biological dad until I was like 14. Wow. And then my parents were like, yeah. They told me about my dad. I was like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. So that was your dad for the most. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. He's, dad my dad. yeah, yeah he's my dad. Yeah, he's my dad. Do you know yeah, who sure. your dad is? I met him when I was like 14, yeah. Okay. And do you have a relationship with him? Uh, we like He'll like text me once in a while. Oh, but he sucks. <laughs> okay, no, yeah, but you yeah, respect he's he's like Your a, stepdad gets the fucking Yeah, he's my dad. Being, yeah, for yeah, sure, yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah. But like, uh, yeah, like I know my biological dad, but we've hung out maybe like Twenty times, I got you. Yeah, yeah. he's yeah. like a fun, fun guy. You have like five beers with him. You're like, this guy fucking rocks. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but yeah. bad dad, bad dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, before we, sure. uh, That's we awesome. are blowing. I'm through a stepdad. That's what reason why I asked. <laughs> oh hell yeah, respect. Yeah. We're blowing through time here, but I do want to ask: Do you have a weird sex story, or do you want to move to the next uh, segment? I mean, we're not, I don't know about weird sex. There was a girl I hooked up with one time that, like, after we fucked, she was like, "Can you lay there and I can just kiss your like make out with you, but you don't move." <laughs> I thought you were going to say feet. I thought he got very excited. I was excited. about to blast through the tail. <laughs> oh, dude. No. I thought she was like, are you late? I'm just going to suck your feet, suck your toes. Oh, no. She would have puked. I got boot foot, dude. I got trench foot. <laughs> I'm an electrician, dog. <laughs> that ain't happening. No, I wasn't thinking about you. I was thinking about me. I'm going to suck, suck my toes. Anyways. Yeah. I also thought you were going to say that. I thought you were going to say, this I was just picturing you. a girl. This is the stuff I type on Pornhub. Girl <laughs> sucks an electrician's foot. foot. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, like, yeah. <laughs> I wire a house, come <laughs> suck them clean, bitch. Okay, wait, because I was distracted by thinking you were going to say feet. So she said, can you lay there while I kiss what? Yeah, she just wanted to make can- out, like, make out with me, but I can't move. Oh, like a mannequin? Yeah. And I was like, Damn. I already came, so have at it. <laughs> like, oh, like, I might start snoring. Listen, you got four minutes because I'm fucking leaving. <laughs> so go get busy. <laughs> I got to order mozzarella sticks. I got to pick up around the yeah. corner so I can do your thing. By the way, if you oh. uh, weren't in a position where you're in a relationship with a baby yeah. coming, I feel like you're the. I watched this. Um, do you ever watch Soft White Underbelly? Yeah, I love that. So I watched this guy on there, and he was like a gigolo. He he's not American. He's like Polish. What is soft white underbelly? Oh, so it's, it's like saw, a dude. You never saw? <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's so good. It's it's, it's, it's like it's, they interview freaks. It's good, but the, drug addicts. I'm is not like trying real to sex everything. or taxi. No, 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 no. I'm not trying to be an asshole. But the interviewer, Mark Leda, I don't think he's a great interviewer. I just think he like stumbled on he a. He kind of lets him run. He I lets guess, him run. Yeah. So it's like so. Base most of the channel is he's a photographer and he just uh, came upon this idea of like interviewing people from the pictures. Okay. And he, his office is like on Skid Row, yeah. and uh-huh. most of the people he interviews are like crackhead prostitutes, yeah. whatever. And then is that that recent one that went viral workers. with the girl where she's like she actually looks attractive, but her face is not that attractive. <laughs> I mean, it looks like she's got a banging body, yeah, but she's, she's like a really nice body. But her face, and she's like, yeah, man. But oh fuck, no. there was a recent Maybe. thing I saw. I was like, that, that crackhead is beautiful. It is it be. black and white? No, okay. no, yeah, probably not him. Oh, you're talking about Tales of the Streets. 
Maybe. There's yeah. something I saw recently. There's a where couple I, of them. Well, everybody saw... bid him off. He was like the trailblazer. Oh, okay, okay. Because he did the Whitakers. You ever see the Whitakers? Yes, I did, of course. That was, I think, it's, my first, like... It's like an inbred family, and they come up on, like, the driveway, and there's some guy on all fours, like, ah, ah, <laughs> like, barking <laughs> at this dude. That's how I, like, discovered that, that was, like, channel first initially. Thing that yeah, popped, it was so good. Yeah. Okay. But, so, um, oh, is that, is that who you're talking about? No, that's not her, but she looks good. That's not her. It's <laughs> another girl. It's not her. It's some other chick. She that's looks so, like Bad busted. Baby if she wrote a fucking yeah, mongoose. That, that <laughs> She's a BMX <laughs> Bad Baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She looks... She like, right? Was I on on that? A, huffy, was, a, a fucking Huffy bike? That bitch could do a tail whip. That's Bad Baby with the tail whip capability. <laughs> um, I'm sending this to you. Mean face. heel flip, dude. So they had oh, this boy. this jig up there. Oh, wow. I love this. I this is... You know, it's guest been a, drinks it's with been us. a while <laughs> yes. since we've had a guest that I drinks know, with us. I'm very excited And I feel like this has been an electric episode. I had one or two. <laughs> yes, it, practically nothing. Yeah, it's water yeah, actually yeah. that we're pouring into that glass. This is shout out to what's it, Takira? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's a Puerto Rican chick I fucked on spring break. <laughs> <laughs> it's a girl in your basement. Uh, yes. Arthur Cantina, shout out Little Italy, Little Italy to Bronx. Arthur Cantina. Okay, Hell so yeah. you're gonna go bad things. I'm gonna pee. Oh yeah, go ahead. Right. I'll just continue Let's talking go. about okay. the gigolo. So okay. gigolo, yada yada. He's this guy from Poland. He moved here. I'm Polish. Are you? Yeah. Oh, so this is right up your alley. Polish, Irish, Italian. And so he's talking about how um, he's like a high-end like escort for yeah. chicks and how he like works his way into like women and like understands them, whatever. And I feel like this is right down your alley. I could have crushed this if I was like, yeah, yeah. I had no like, I don't know. I didn't want to do any. When I was younger, all I did was fucking work and sell weed. <laughs> That's <was> it. <laughs> If I knew pussy had so much money in it, (laughs) I would have done that. This guy, though, like, I don't know. He's, like, conventionally good. Like, like anybody would think he's good looking. But, like, for me, not my type. And I can't imagine. I know they say, like, there's, there's like, a whatever words that anybody can, any guy could say to, like, get a girl to be interested. But I'm looking at this guy and I'm like, I just don't. I don't see it. Yeah, it's not your cup of tea. Yeah, it's not for me. But he charges, like, I think it was, like, $8,000 for a week or something (sighs) Fuck. All you gotta do is like bang a chick, and then he also like. You know him- how many jet skis I'd have? <laughs> I'd be up and down the Delaware at Dave and Buster's, <laughs> like hop on, bitch. And because he has like a, I guess according to him, he has such like a, a big pool of a clientele that he can like handpick who he chooses to say I yes bet. and no to. So he's basically picking like rich women that are married. And their husbands are like, yeah, just do this and yeah, get out of my face. Yeah, leave me the fuck alone. Yes. Can I watch sports with my boys? <laughs> exactly. I worked my whole life to bet on sports, do coke with my friends. <laughs> exactly. I mean, what a what an ideal thing. That I guys aren't in, uh, <laughs> I walk in and came in. That was his bet on sports. <laughs> I was just talking about sports betting That's with That's the Italian Puerto Rican <laughs> rape whistle. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a prop bet. What? What? <laughs> Parlay? He pinched that off. <laughs> All right. We're going to move over to the next segment, which is bad things. I'll fight. Bad things. Bad things with you. This is Bad Things, part where we talk about fight stories, physical altercations. Yeah. If you've been in more than one, then the most memorable <laughs> fight that you've been in. <laughs> so I, start with um, the most memorable fight. My mo- I'll go with my most recent fight. Oh, I, I haven't like gotten a better. fight in like... Uh, what a year? The like, ye- <laughs> last By the Halloween. Way, you <laughs> rev that up like it was gonna be like 10, 15 years, no, and yeah. you're like, it's been like twenty five. <laughs> I'm a fucking old man now. I'm thirty five. <laughs> no, but last he's been doing that all episode. He's like, yeah, this girl lived in my basement last week, and uh, my baby mama just got pregnant. Yesterday. That literally shows how retarded I am. That I was like, that was when I was twenty eight. Yeah. I was like, oh, that was yeah, that was recent because <laughs> they kicked her out because she kept working from home during the pandemic. <laughs> but um. No, last year we went to um I put to you know Fred Durst from Limp Biscuit? Hell yeah, I love Limp Biscuit. He um he was hosting a Halloween party at the Marshalloo in Philly. You know where that's at? No. It's like the it's a it's like a fucking sailboat on the river. Okay. And they were like Fred Durst was hosting a Halloween party, he's DJing, so we were like, Fuck yeah. Like I thought he was gonna play Limp Biscuit all night. We were like, Let's fucking go. So me, my girl, and my bet like my my boy who introduced me to my girl and his girl, we all went. And we get there, and Fred Durst was just fucking pilled out of his mind. Oh, like, no. didn't do. He had like a blue wig on and a fucking jean jacket vest. Okay. And literally just played an ASAP Rocky album. Ah. So we were like, what the fuck? I don't want to hear that bummer. shit. Dude, it sucked. Did he I was like, break stuff for what? Did he look good? No, he looks like shit. Oh, 
shit. Ugh. He had a he just had a wig on and it was Fred Durst. Oh, yeah, it's Marshall. Nice. I want to see nice. Fred Durst in a blue wig. But, but dude, did they just perf- they they just had like a little bit of a tour? Well, dude, it, it was it, right, I think right? it happened because the Woodstock documentary came out. And he was yeah. like, I didn't rape chicks. I'm going to show up to this. <laughs> and we get there. And it was so funny because half of the crowd was like 22-year-olds, 25-year-olds. And then the other half was like people my age that were like, I love Limp Bizkit. Yeah. <laughs> Do something Dude, Limp people Bizkit. drove from Ohio to Is go to this. Is this what you're talking about? Uh, no. He had, dude, he literally had a jean jacket on. I don't even, you're not going to be able to so find bad. pictures That's of this. I'd be hair. shocked. Dude, he had a yeah. jean jacket vest on with like five security guards around him and just like three of the most pilled out chicks from Mayfair you've ever seen. <laughs> and um, it, it just sucked. Like we ended up hanging out for a little bit, like talked to older people and they were like, dude, we came here from like, they were like us, but I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, we'd live like five minutes away. Yeah. So this ain't a hurt piece. People like got hotels to come see him. And um, they, he just wasn't playing any Limp Bizkit. So, uh, Does he go as like DJ Fred Durst? No, he's like Good Fred question. Durst is hosting a Halloween party. Uh-huh. So we were like, fuck yeah, it's going to be sick. And then, um, were there appetizers and hors d'oeuvres or something? <laughs> Nothing. Or he, well, his Not only a... host ability was I'm going to play ASAP Rocky. He didn't do anything else. Yeah, I thought he was going to play fucking Limp Bizkit and maybe just sing over some instrumentals. That's what I was hoping for. Yeah, what the fuck? So we leave. We were like, fuck this. We left. And me and my boy were like, fucked up. I might have been doing a couple bumps in the bathroom. <laughs> God, <laughs> I mean, what are you going to do? You're on a boat in the yeah, fucking yeah. In the middle no, of Philly. Coke on a boat's the best. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, <laughs> there's the episode name Coke, Coke on, a on a boat. And we get out front, and uh, my girl and her friend. We're talking to this dude. It looked, it was like a guy dressed like an Amish guy, and then some huge guy. Like, dude was big as fuck. And um, they were talking over there. And I thought they were having like a cool conversation. And then I overheard it, and it, the big guy was bullying the gay guy. There was like he was bullying this little guy. Apparently, he ended up being gay. And I walked over. I was like, dude, fucking chill. I was like, get away. Like I thought he was just fucking with the with the with the gay guy. And I went over there and said something. And then my girl and her girl walked away, and he said, bitch. Well, he said something to my girl. It was like, bitch, or whatever. I was like, what the fuck did you just say? He's like, uh. He said it again. I was like, ah, get the fuck out of here before you get fucked up. The big guy. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> he, uh, <laughs> I was like, dude, I'll fucking smash your face. Like, get the fuck out of here. And he grabbed my, like, wrist like this, and he was like, yo, I played football in high school. I was like, where? <laughs> no, was it Al Bundy? <laughs> yeah, and I, like, no, I'm not saying it like that. I kickboxed for fucking, I kickboxed for, like, 10 years of my life. <laughs> so I was like, all right. Don't so I, like, with me. <laughs> there was a bike rack behind him. I was like, see that? And I just tripped him and, like, threw him into this bike rack. Nice. Hell yeah. And he got back up, and I just, like, slammed him back down on the ground. And, uh, like, I just put my hand on his shit. Like, I, I wasn't going to fucking beat the shit out of the kid. Like, I'm not a piece of shit. And, uh. Like, picked him up, slammed him on the ground. He got up, and I slammed him again. I was like, don't fucking move. He started sobbing. (laughs) And, like, got up, and he was, like, walking around. He was like, dude, I'm so sorry. You were right. I'm like, I know. Like, that's that was this whole altercation. I kept telling you to stop, and then you freaked out. But that was like a... Yeah, it wasn't even. I wouldn't even categorize that as a fight. No, but yeah, but it's good. But, but yeah, yeah, it's an altercation. But and my you girl came was on top like, and you were right. But that was my, my girl. Like, how'd your girl feel afterwards? Oh, she was pumped because <laughs> yeah. she hasn't known me for that long. Like, I'm not a sucker. When I was younger, I would just be a psycho, like yeah. getting bar fights, whatever. And uh, after that, she was like, "Oh, I thought you were like a faggot. <laughs> I thought you were a pussy." I was like, "What?" He's like, "No, baby." She's like, "Well, you threw him in a bike yeah. rack." <laughs> By the way, this guy <laughs> has got to be traumatized if he remembers it. Well, he's got to no, be that's traumatized I, by this. I forgot because my boy that was with me, he's like a tiny guy. He's like five six, and he's like forty some years old. And he said something to me. I was like, "Dude, get the fuck out of here before I fuck you up." He's like, "What are you going to do? You and your friend who's old as dust?" <laughs> like pointed to my boy. And I was like, ah, he's, gonna, he's been bringing that up every time I see him for like the last year and a half, like year and a half. But uh, it was just funny because the dude, he, I'm like, dude, I'm 35 years old. He, the kid was like probably 28, but he was like a 300 pound, like big dude. Big and he's like, I played football in high school. I was like, I'm sick. That's even worse. That's right. I thought it was going to yeah. be an older person if yeah. they're reminiscing about No, he was like <laughs> young. So I think he thought he was like, I'm fucking freak. I'm like, cool. I have my jersey under this shirt, baby yeah. boy. But I was if like, you... I'd butt fuck you if I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck if up. If you get beat up by somebody as a guy and then cry after, that has to ruin your, your, Dude, the rest of your life. He was sobbing and like walking around because there were so many. That, and that's also a new why I love my chick. Because she was like, I was about to fuck this dude up. And she was walking around slapping people's phones down. Because <laughs> I had gotten arrested <laughs> like before that. And I had a court case. So she was like, no, nothing, nothing, nothing. She's great. So I was like, yeah, that's a ride or die bitch right that's there. That's a real bitch that. right there, brother. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's the most recent one. Yeah. Is there a, like a a more memorable, like a most memorable fight you've ever been I in? I got into a fight with a... 
You know uh, WXTU? It's like a comedy or a, not a comedy, country music um, like festival they do in Camden. You know Philly, right? You know the Tweeter Center? I know Camden I don't Market. Know any of these things. There's like saying. a huge, I forget what it's called now. It used to be the Tweeter Center. Now it's Wac- maybe it's Wachovia. So it's like an outdoor concert like amphitheater. And they do like a, con- a uh, country music festival. But we just I just went down there for the tailgate. And uh, we're drinking all day. And then me and the chick I was dating, I was probably like fucking 22. And we were on the way back. You take like. The, we know we can't trust your age range. Yeah, no, this is for sure like 20. Oh, 33 and a half. 33 this was and actually half and, uh, two weekends ago. You know. <laughs> no, I think I was like 23. And we were on the ATCO, like the fucking train who, or the PACCO. PACCO. It's the train that takes you basically like up Camden to like the suburbs of like Yardley, like New Hope, all that shit. And um, we were on that train and this fucking dude, everybody was in like ho- like gay country music clothes. It was crazy. And um, Blue wig, jean vest. Like just ridiculous outfits. But then there was Assless like. Assless chaps. There was <laughs> a <laughs> gay country <laughs> music. Yeah. Assless chaps. And all the dudes had fucking jacket. blinking butt plugs in. <laughs> it, was like, it was a Garth Brooks concert. The blinking butt plug <laughs> is the best one. Yeah. Don't besmirch Garth Brooks's name. We talk no. this Garth Brooks episode. is gay as shit. No, he's, he's, you. he's a serial <laughs> killer. He's no. Nope. I heard about this. Nope, he's a murderer. No, this is true. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> but um, no, we're on the train back, and um, this guy gets on with his girlfriend. He's like a fucking video game nerd. Like obviously, he's got like a Hawaiian shirt on. His girlfriend busted. They sit them. And these like frat looking dudes started fucking with them. It was at the time where remember you guys had the the, the slotted sunglasses. Remember yes. Kanye had those. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was some guy with them glasses and a Jordan jersey on, and him and like four of his boys. They started making fun of this fucking guy in front of his girlfriend. And the kid was trying to like laugh along with it. Ah, oh, that's always sad. Dude. And I was like, dude, fuck you, pull. I was like, shut the fuck up. And he was like, what? Like I basically I, I don't even remember what I said to him. I just like made fun of him, and everybody laughed at him. He's like, say it again. I'm like, I'm not gonna say it again, pussy. Like, what you're the defending fuck are you the nerd. You're fighting the bully yeah. at this point. Yeah. And uh, there was a dude next to me, and he was like, dude, it's not worth it. And I was like, dude, this pussy don't want to do nothing. And when I turned my head, he tried to spit on me and spit on the guy that was trying to calm me down. <laughs> oh, no. And the guy who was trying to calm me down freaked out and like jumped at the guy Good. and started getting beat up. And Over my girl, you. yeah, my girl, no, he was like, the guy was here, the guy was calming me down, was right here. He tried to spit on me, hit him, and he freaked out. My girl was next to me, I'm like, go away. And uh, <laughs> I went to go pick the kid up, like, he was getting, like, stomped. And I went to pick him up, and the kid with, like, the slotted sunglasses hit me in the side of the face, and I just smiled at him and got up, and the fucking, he had, like, a Michael Jordan, like, the, the train stopped, doors opened, and the kid tried to, like, box with me. And he had a Michael Jordan jersey on, so I slipped my hand like inside of his jersey and spun it and pulled him into me and knocked this motherfucker like knocked him the fuck out. Good. Head bashed off the fucking train stop, and I just kicked his lower body like out of the train. Like his boys were like trying to drag me out of the train, like pulling my shirt, and I pulled back. And then the next stop, the cops got on, and they were sure. trying to arrest me. And there was a black dude next to me. That, like, after the door shut, he was like, oh, I was going to help you, but you looked fine. I was like, dude, I could have got the fucking shit beat out of me. And the cops got on the next stop, and everybody on the train was like, no, he was, like, doing the right thing. So I just got let go. Wow. And that was it. How lucky. How lucky. It's always a good feeling when the the general public have your back. They're like, you know what I mean? Yeah, because like, no, I was like, guy, fuck. Because, like, dude, I hit this motherfucker, and he, like, bounced, his head, like, bounced off, like, the... You know, like, there's a little, like, it's like Braille bumps on the train stop. Mm-hmm. Like the yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, yeah. Ugh. Like, <laughs> he got off. I was like, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see right. how that goes. It's like the stucco thing all over again. <laughs> yeah. I go for rigid areas. <laughs> you like bashing people's heads. <laughs> Ribs for his pleasure. pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, we're going to move over to our final segment, which is Scary Things. Yeah. This is the tough one. I'm excited for this This is Scary Things, the part where we talk about weird, creepy, unexplainable, possibly paranormal experiences. This could be anything from like a sleep paralysis, a dream that came true, just like hearing something that you shouldn't have heard all the way to like seeing full body apparition. Anything that in the moment freaked you out and you couldn't explain. I wasn't even, I, I don't think I have anything that was like in the moment freaked me out. But what the house I grew up at was um, my stepdad, my stepdad's grandfather grew up at this house, right? So they build it. And then I found out. I remember one morning when I was like nine years old. I was like nine, eight, nine, or ten. 
uh, there was a bunch of cops out front on Christmas morning. And then we found out, like, eventually when I got older, the guy killed himself Christmas Day. And then as I got older, my stepdad let me know the last three people that lived at the house across the street killed them, like, died. Weird. The one guy, my, like, my neighborhood at the end of the street, there was a hill on this person's yard. And apparently the one dude got drunk Christmas Day and his wife got him skis and he went and skied oh down the hill God. and died. Oh, my God. Skied into a tree like Sonny Bono style, <laughs> died. And then the dude, I guess, like, two people before that had some, like, fucked up drunk accident in his house. Oh, so I don't know if that counts. <laughs> did you? Yeah. Right? It's it's some. I wouldn't say thing. haunted house. Did you ever something. go next to the house? You guys ever be like, yo, let's fucking get But then the, the dude, the dude who like lived there my whole childhood, he ended up having like a brain aneurysm and now he's a meth head. What? So there's been like <laughs> nonstop something at this house. The people are fucked up. And so like, what? have you ever been in the house? Nah, never. So you yourself never anything that like do you know the address? Can we pull it up and look at it? It's Orchard Lane in Trebos. <laughs> you can do like Google it's Maps a, and go in front of it. What, and look at it. I want to see the hill where this guy. Dude, it, look, <laughs> now you wouldn't even be able to see it. Like my neighborhood where I grew up, the the end of my block's cut in half by the turnpike. Okay, so it was like, yeah. So this house has been think, fucked for a while. Well, it, according to my, my stepdad's lived there his whole entire life. Like his his grandfather built a house. He lived there when he was a kid. Then he bought the house from his parents. So that's been it. Okay, so we're gonna we're we're gonna find something here. Yeah. We're gonna talk through it. So God, your stepdad lived at this place. Yeah. No, across nothing. the street. My right? parents still live there. No, but it was across the house the across the street yeah. that everybody kept dying okay. at this house. You don't know anybody that's been in that house. The guy Frank who lives there now, but he lived there for like ten years. Had a brain aneurysm. He's been on disability. And he's on heroin. No, meth. 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 Yeah, because I came over. My parents were like, he's acting weird. And I walked over, and he like he's one of them guys who does like classic cars. And uh, he would just have like some... There was like a few weekends I came over, and there was different guys yeah. hanging out, working on the house. And then uh, the <clears throat> one guy was like, there's a laser in the front yard. Like, yeah. there was multiple guys, multiple weekends that were like, there's lasers. I'm like, oh, they're <laughs> fucking hot. They're tweaking. <laughs> like, tweaking like a motherfucker. I'm like, there ain't no laser, dude. <laughs> Okay. But, okay. Okay. I feel like you could do like a soft white underbelly just on that street. I mean, <laughs> just interview those people. There wasn't that where we is at. This, is this it? Orchard Lane. It says it's Orchard Lane in Revo. So I was wondering if this wait, was go the down. hill. Mm. Oh wait, that might be it. Look, look, look. Go down. And see this one with the green, the green top, the right end here? one. Go down to the no, the, the other way, way, the other way. Yeah, right there, that house. That like colored like it doesn't it's it's literally not a it's not a hill it's literally a, like a I don't even yeah, know what like degree a cliff. Pretty nice neighborhood there guy oh dude well it used to be nice spot. that's on the nice edge trees. of um what you call it's the edge of Northeast Philly so everybody who lived in like Kensington Mayfair whatever would move to this neighborhood so that's where my mom lived and my dad lived in Kensington okay but it's like yeah it's so funny so it's just a whacked out house with bad luck a lot yeah, of bad apparently things. allegedly. But besides that, like the only other paranormal kind of thing I had, we had, we were at my one boy's, like we thought this was like a ghost thing where like uh, he would be like, oh, this something always happens in this other room. And then eventually you're like, yeah, that's not, you're doing yeah. that. We're high and we're 15. So you're tricking me. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Um, I never, I literally never, I don't think I ever had something like that. Harrington, before I question him more, can you go to the TTI email? And uh, the, so uh, Chris, who sent in the video last week or like the, um, like the iPhone like live picture thingy and he sent it I don't know if you remember this figs that it was like a, a mist and then he some orbs photo. yeah he yeah. said orbs thing whatever and so like he sent in some follow up things so maybe we'll replay the one from last week and then play the uh show the pictures he showed but um while he pulls that up that was the one thing I was like I don't think I have a supernatural that's okay so do you believe in paranormal stuff <sighs> Not really. That's what I was going to say. I really okay. don't. He seems like the type of yeah, guy who's yeah. been like, he's like, yeah, like that shit don't even affect it. Yeah, I really, do you guys are, you guys are both into that shit? We're kind of like opposites. Like, I don't want to believe, like I kind of avoid that shit. Shannon I'm not is, like, like against for it, it, but I'm yeah. like, I've never, yeah. And I feel like, by the way, like most of the Philly guys that have come in that I'm just like, they're not going to have anything. And they have had great, like, so like 
uh, Mike Rainey and Tim Butterly. They like had they've... no good pussy getting stories, but they <laughs> go. You're yeah, the opposite, brother. My boy, my boy slamming some yeah, Swedish like, box. My autistic boys. They <laughs> no, nothing on the pussy radar, but they can do ghosts, dude. <laughs> He's like, I don't believe you fucking ghosts, brother. I get pussy, dude. Yeah, I got nothing. I got nothing on the fucking. Go- I literally was trying to think of it so hard. I was like, the most thing, like mm-hmm. the biggest thing was the guys dying across the street all the time. So, okay, so you pretty much don't believe in, like, spirits and stuff. Do you believe in UFOs? No. Nothing? No. Aliens can suck my dick. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just, I don't care. I do not care. Okay, so it's not that you believe or don't believe, it's just you don't think about that. Well, I'm just like, everybody, like, you know Naeem Ali? Yes. He's always putting shit on his Instagram stories, like, look at this guy. See, he's retarded. (laughs) I'm like, dude, I'm not going to believe until it's coming to kill me. I'm not doing it. I like that. I like that. Yeah. I don't, I mean, that's, I also like kind of like don't care as much about UFOs. Yeah. Because like, I guess like in the grand scheme of things, it matters, but like it doesn't really yeah. matter to me. But like if spirits are a thing, if ghosts are a thing, that makes all the difference in the world. Because then that means that like this isn't it. And that's why I kind of like, you just want to live it. forever. That's what you're looking for? Yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to die. Uh, Which is why I was so nice to the Uber driver. Stop taking Ubers <laughs> yes. for three yes. hours. <laughs> I don't want to yeah. die. I'll watch your podcast about G Unit, <laughs> your G Unit <laughs> reaction yeah. podcast. Yeah, you can play it. He's like, so this is Tony Ayo. Now you don't know about Tony. Ayo. Let me tell you about what the fuck like, happened to Tony Ayo. He's just done. I don't know. But Cameron is doing all right, dude. Cameron, Cameron is Cameron and would have the funniest podcast it's on the planet. Best. It's the best. Is he doing great? He's doing. He does like a sports yeah. po- uh, podcast yeah. show. Um, and it's just so funny. Dude, I used to be like, I used to talk to like Naeem about, I'm like, dude, you need to, there needs to be a Black Eyed News Network. <laughs> yeah, there yeah. needs to be. BNN yes. would be the funniest fucking shit. Yeah, hell yeah. I just want just three to black a guys. Lot of stuff. Yeah, just at the bus stop, <laughs> put a fucking three cameras on them, <laughs> let them rip. <laughs> Track suits, let it go. Things like that. And then like a little bit of boxing at the end. Yeah, yeah. but fun. the boys box. <laughs> Every comedian is into boxing now. It's, it is a big thing, or MMA. Yeah. Well, what are you gonna do? It's oh, fun. would would you at the next Skank Fest take a fight? Yeah. If I get my baby mom to approve it, I'll break somebody's face. If oh you could God. choose, <laughs> if you could choose <laughs> one, comedian. I heard Miguel was calling me out last <laughs> last Miguel week, but who? he said that was fake. Miguel, you know who? Miguel Silva. He's boys with. Uh, I think somebody he's boys mentioned with my boys. him to me. On a podcast, I was I a guest on a podcast, and they mentioned his name to me, and then I looked him up. He's like pretty, right? Yeah, he's pretty. He's a good looking guy. Yeah, somebody mentioned. We could have a hot me. guy fight. <laughs> yes. And is he like, uh, like comparable height height uh, to you? No, I don't think so. Miguel's probably like six foot. But he's maybe Harrington an inch or two ha- shorter than you. Hey, he's tell him to put on some weight. I'll fuck him up. <laughs> he, dude, he was eating a lot of Oreos when he wanted to fight me. He can yeah, put I on some weight. See Harrington, ever right? Wasn't Miguel trying to fight me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is yeah, he dude, like? Yeah. Does he like train? No, nah, I love Miguel. No, I haven't trained nothing for years. So let's get it. He, <laughs> I think he just wants a fight. This and guy's got like where Jason. If he gets it booked, he'll fight. Okay. Yeah. If I get, yeah. he gives me Jason Momoa vibe. He's kind of guy like, like yeah. I would you know, fuck Jason brother. Momoa up too. <laughs> I think you guys are. I think you guys. I think you're Philly Jason Momoa. <laughs> I'll take it. I need to get my tan going, baby. <laughs> Hell yeah. How do you so feel about the Rock? Like that cool vibe. How do I feel about who? The Rock. I mean, I don't like The Rock. I don't have he's a problem bait, with The Rock, but you. The Rock and Kevin Hart, I'm like, how much is enough? Dude, yeah. you need to do Jumanji. Yeah. We need to do that. You need yeah. to be on every commercial I've the ever Rock. seen. Yeah. If I had fucking $500,000, nobody would ever see me again. <laughs> That's These motherfuckers saying. got like $50 million, and they're like, <laughs> and they're like, and they're like all states the you best. Gotta, <laughs> you got to open up Chase yeah. debit account, I'm brother. like, dude, shut the <laughs> fuck up. Go get sucked <laughs> off by some chicks in Thailand and chill. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm not on board with what you're saying. <laughs> she loves you like the, the rock. rock? I love The Rock. I do. I, I, I love The Rock too, but I think he's gay. I think no. he's. I think he's like he's The Rock. Well, wasn't gay. he just I on? I heard gay. a clip of him being like, "I would have fought in Pride," in the. Yeah, yeah I'm like, no, you wouldn't have. No, I think he he what? talked about on he Joe was... Rogan's podcast. He talked about at that period of time. Don't that let Pride her defend him, happening. Harrington. Get Wait, in here. You correct me if I'm wrong, Harrington, but he, I'm right, right? He talked about like uh, he at the time that Pride was happening that uh, he was a. Uh, 
trying he was thinking he had to get out of like wrestling yeah. and was like well, oh maybe, maybe I should do this thing and then maybe I should actually fight in. wrestling sucks this, I should actually fight guys so right? he was training in Huntington Beach with like you know the with Tito's Tito and shit? Rashad's okay. of the world and he said these guys are going over to Pride what making, was that gym Lions then uh, it was Ken Shamrock's gym I can't remember Ken Shamrock yeah, yeah, yeah. one of the best but though, he said those guys were going over to Pride making like 250 to 500 grand in a night he was making 300 working like yeah, 180 year. 200 days a year for the WWE doing somersaults and shit yeah no disrespect but I'm like come on man yeah. if you had 50 million dollars it does rock that he does did he admit to doing steroids I don't know that he's ever said that out loud oh, I don't know that I he do has. I almost makes me respect him more that he won't admit to doing steroids yeah no the rock the rock is <laughs> I love the rock love man. I, I think he's gay a little bit, and it's fine. He's not gay. He's is not. He's he not. He is married. He's married to like a model. She's like blonde, light eyes, tall, like tall, skinny, and then they've got like two kids together. I think, and he has yeah. one kid from previous marriage. But I will say, like Jason Terrible. Momoa, I have like a like the rock has been like number one. Jason yeah. Momoa, I'm like I'm kind of on board. Okay. But in Fast if I, X, I mean, Jason Momoa is better looking than Rock. Objectively, I like. Right? I, so here's the thing: even though I say the Rock, I I, I think he's a closeted gay. Well, he's you not. know, maybe he's not. If he's not, it's fine. He's I mean, he's not. It's just, just a bad me prediction. He's not. I would take the I Rock. I love to hear your vernacular oscillate between Puerto Rican and Italian. <laughs> yeah, 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 I think he's a closeted gay. He's a <laughs> that's Italian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, but like Jason Momoa, like real talker. I guess Puerto Rican. <laughs> yeah. But I I take the Rock <laughs> any day over. Jason, like how the Rock looks clean, love classy. Him. Like in terms of a man, I love the no, Rock. It, Jason Momoa looks dirty. Momoa he's like a dirty. Act, well, Momoa tries to act like he's like a fucking motorcycle. He yeah, tries to act like he's yeah, like an yeah, outlaw. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> you just, know what I mean? I saw something. I recently. saw him with like a tomahawk and a fucking chopper. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, take yeah, it yeah. easy. What are you <laughs> doing? <laughs> I saw something recently where he talks about like when he's not in a movie. <laughs> oh, boy, this I mean, all, all day, day on the dude. left. This podcast is a real gay. In and in I saw that uh, Jason Momoa <laughs> says that like when he's not training for a movie, he doesn't work out at all. And like part of me is like, I, I kind of like it. And the other part is like, what is really under the shirt when he's doing interviews and stuff? All right, let me ask Bam. you a question. One night with Jason Momoa for a million or one night with The Rock for 25000 Wait, I have to pay for it? No, I don't no, have no, any no, of this no, money. No, you get no. this money. Oh, okay. You get the money. Okay. He's a asking night, you what your pussy is worth. A night with Momoa <laughs> for a million or a night with The Rock for a hundred thousand dollars. Hundred thousand with The Rock, one million with Mimosa. Mimosa. That's my Puerto Rican side. <laughs> Yo, Jason Mimosa? Mimosa. He's Mimosa, oh, right? So difficult. Because like after what I was gonna say before is like in Fast X, I really like that um Jason Momoa played like a this flamboyant character, okay. and I like that he can like be so silly. <laughs> I like that you're breaking down Fast X artistically. Yeah. I, well, I love the that. choices he made in the Fast, fast X. That's how you know she's like Long Island trash. Yeah. Uh, I'm Long Island trash. That's how you know she's Staten Island trash. She's like, I watched Fast X. I, I wouldn't all watch. The, you didn't <laughs> watch <laughs> any of the Fast and the Furious movies. I stopped after Tokyo like, Drift. I didn't give a fuck. Like, this is well, ridiculous Long Island what Jason, saying. what's his face? <laughs> Lifton, James Lifton. Yeah. <laughs> well, the moment ludicrous, I was like, get yeah. the fuck out of here. As soon as he jumped that 40 yard. <laughs> this is crazy what you're saying. You got, you didn't watch the, all the Fast no, and Furious movies? No, this is crazy. You no. guys in the booth, as nobody? As soon as I started fingering chicks, I was like, Vin Diesel's gay. <laughs> no, Harrington. Harrington's on my side. You, you watch all the Fast and Furious movies. Yes, they're great. Yeah, I rewatched them all when Alex was pregnant. It was great. Thank what? you, Harrington. Yeah. They're Eight great and nine. movies. The, we skipped... Eight or one the of the three, two, whichever one of the Tokyo submarine. Drift, you can skip. We yeah, yeah, that I one. stopped <laughs> as soon as they went to Japan. I was <laughs> yeah, like, fuck that. Skip that one. I hate <laughs> that sushi dog. To- that was Tokyo Drift. That was the yeah. second one. Yeah, yeah, the third, the third one. Yeah, you can skip that one. Ryan, okay. you're about to be a father. Let me tell you, nothing instills the values of family <laughs> like Vin like Diesel? 19 hours of Vin Diesel. I, lovely brother, yeah, family. Love it to go. I do like Jason Nothing Statham. instills the values of Jason family Statham like a guy great. denying his homosexuality. Vin <laughs> Diesel, he's like. Yeah. For a much smaller guy, I really do appreciate Jason, Jason Statham. Statham. Jason Statham is great. And the he's Meg, great. the Meg. I didn't watch the, the second Meg one. I watched one, the first one. The Meg two. I didn't watch the second fucking one. Fucking the tits. What's the Meg? It's, a, it's, it's, oh, it's Jason, a Megalodon. It's him fighting a shark. The big shark? With a bunch of Asian guys. It is incredible. How many it's Asians just a good old. It's a good old fashioned blockbuster. It's a good movie. How many Asians did it take? There's like too many Asians. <laughs> There's a lot there of Asians. It would have took the one Asian... other white guy. <laughs> <laughs> the Asians are like studying this megalodon, 
And Jason Statham is the guy that goes under the water and will interact with it. The but Asian's then the Asian doing like thing, geometry on it. Yeah, the <laughs> Asian's like, oh, based on the water, the temperature, <laughs> you have to break the temperature. So there's like a temperature barrier where the mate could live. But then Jason Statham is going to get the Megalodon, but one of the Asian's daughters, she's adventurous, and she sneaks into the ship with Jason. So it's is Jason. Is she a veteran? And she's adventurous. <laughs> is that a veterinarian lady? <laughs> I'm sorry. I never heard of that. Adventurous. She's adventurous. Oh, adventurous. adventurous. Oh, no, she's like, veterinarian. She's a vet tech. And then, uh, she was there when you sent that one oh, of veterinarian. Oh, you're both oh, canceled. <laughs> you're both of you are canceled. I don't give a fuck. So Jason has to protect the girl from the fucking shark. It's fucking good, guy. You I'm gotta watch Boston it. Boston at the end. Yeah, Doctor Shark in the yard. <laughs> the fucking shark and the Asian men are coming crazy. It's a good movie. By the way, I still don't have an answer to the question. Just the question? Before. I don't believe in ghosts. They're gay. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't the one I was talking about. It was like the the Rock versus uh, Jason oh, Momoa. We're waiting. I, I I feel like I have to. I can't believe you rock. remember that point. That's impressive. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> one I have, mil. Has, this is what my notebook is about. I have to like, I know, keep yeah, track of what's happening there. here. Um, I what kind like, of grades you get? <laughs> so okay, <laughs> it was like a in school. It was a if it. Most things like came easy, and as long as it came easy, I was good at it. But if it's like math garbage, and it's, if it took too much work, I'm like I'm just out, and I'm never gonna. I respect do it. that. So it was just anything it. that takes work. See you. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> still, sure. still to this day. Okay. Um, I have to pick the rock. I feel like. Okay. Just because I love, <clears throat> I love the 100 rock. Grand. One hundred grand. One hundred versus twenty five. No, 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 no. One hundred thousand dollars. I also thought that. One hundred thousand dollars for the rock. Uh-huh. One million for Jason Mimosa. <laughs> I'm going Jason Mimosa all day. So, We're all going Mimosa. But you, everyone's saying Jason I'm Mimosa. saying that you, but you <laughs> love The Rock so much. I do, but yeah. Okay. 100 grand. I thought it was 25 versus no, 100 no, no, before. No, that's what I thought it was, too. Me no, too. I'm Thank, you. Pull up the tape. Thank you, Ryan. Pull up the tape. I don't think I'm that drunk. Pull <laughs> the tape. You. We got some Puerto Rican yeah. math happening right here. <laughs> I'm like, seven platanos plus three platanos. Venturous. Wow. I'm not going to convert that to pesos, but it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> if it's 100 versus a million, then Jason Moa is like, he's he's hot. And he's got the, the Hawaiian thing. I love Hawaii. It would be. Jason Your Moa. relationship with a rock would be tainted forever. He'd be like, you I mean, didn't take me for a million. When else would I have a relationship with the rock after right, that? Right. By the way. This is what we've done. <laughs> yes, we're halfway so, through. So, oh, we, so we're talking about that it might be a problem, oh. and we are halfway through the bottle. That's not a problem. One hour, halfway through. You're calling that a problem? It's not too bad. <laughs> but he's the size of both of us put together, yeah, we'll so do it's, do, we're like up we'll higher do. on the bottle. Yeah. yeah. Next time we did I'll come have help. I'll come back here for three yeah. fucking hours. <laughs> yeah. Next time. Hell yeah. The yeah. Next, we'll do two of them motherfuckers. The next cocaine uh, medium episode. If you do yeah, a coke do, episode, we have a cocaine psychic that comes on for real. And will you dress up as a character? <laughs> no, uh, I'm looking at him. He's like, I'm not what, do I say, what, what does that mean? You think you're fucking gay? Dude? What does that mean? It Put on a hoodie? <laughs> oh, they, I'll wear a white t shirt. <laughs> I, did, I did hear rumors about a Philly fortune teller. Really? I Where? heard that he's out there. Where? I don't know. Some guy, he gets all yacked up, and all of a sudden, he can start there reading the future. There used to be a future. fortune teller on um, Delaware Ave, but it's getting squatted in now. And he has like a little Mexican co... Uh, he has like a Mexican partner that helps they him. They can sit in the bed of my truck. I'll drive them pussies up here. <laughs> okay. I so don't if know. We Maybe tell, stay tuned. Stay if tuned. we tell you to dress as a Philly fortune teller, <laughs> and then you take that and interpret it however, and then you come in for that episode. Yeah, I'll just wear a backwards hat. <laughs> Do you, they, say that, <laughs> they say that cocaine gives you power to... Uh, to like, what's it called? Uh, to clairvoyance. Uh, be yeah, yourself. To like connect. To, <laughs> to connect. Talk to about spirits. your childhood. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so Harrington. I don't know if you. Oh, there you oh, go. Yeah. Can you oh, can you is. dress it? Will you dress in that? that? That's a Philly you guys fortune teller. Buy that alpha for me, yeah. Who's okay. That? That's, That's a Philly fortune teller. Oh, okay. I thought that was one of the linemen from uh, no. the Chiefs. He looks like the guy who's related to Kelsey. <laughs> it is. Oh, that is it, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That is it. Oh, okay. Kelsey okay, Grammer. That's our beautiful center. <laughs> yeah, no, they're coming no. back. Okay. Frazier's coming back. Uh, Frazier's it's, coming it's back. back. It's already back. Oh, okay. And it's the worst. I, I love Frazier. I love Cheers because I'm 100. Yeah. I and so I loved Frazier. It's like one of my nighttime watch shows. That's like, your show I've never watched Frazier. It's a great Fra- show. Friends is my number one. And then Everybody Loves Raymond, Cheers, Frazier. And that's and then I'll go to like What's the one with the gay? With the gay and the skinny girl. The gay and the skinny 
Will and Grace. <laughs> Will and Grace. Uh, Will and Grace. Mark that. Close. Very close. <laughs> yes. Can we not? Can Will we not say hate speech? Very close. You can just for the YouTube. I just oh, want to leave it. No, no, no. You're good for a gas <laughs> no, digital. They'll the, love yeah, you. Right. The, yeah, yeah, gas the, digital's gonna love the you. The really loving live. <laughs> No. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> my bad i'm sorry but uh, don't tell me that <laughs> now, like, i get the button <laughs> uh fraser did reboot uh, yeah. but they didn't bring back any of the other characters ah oh, it's safe. just fraser and then i stopped after the third episode i stopped ralph continued to watch it and i was like just tell me if anybody else comes back and somebody else i don't want to ruin it for anybody but like <laughs> somebody else did come back later on but it's like no one that anybody cares about and i was like i can't i can't yeah. do it and i love fraser I don't think the numbers are doing that well. It's the worst. Okay, so Harrington. Last week, uh, we had this guy, Chris, that sent in his scary thing story. We played – do you have the original thing? I should have said this before. But you do. Okay, so he sent in like a picture, but like a live picture from the iPhone – and it was his wife taking pictures. Where we get, was it? We get New wild Orleans? shit. We do get a lot of yeah, wild like submissions that, that make us question things. Thank so. God, because I was like, my <laughs> yeah, fucking no. ghost no, stories. Fine. I was like, no. it. So this guy, right. we, question we, is this. We had a girl fuck a clown mannequin with a dildo, and she felt the mannequin reach her, and she it, it, it gets a little wild. Crackhead. So, maybe. <laughs> We no, try to we try to no, figure we it out. Her. Here we go. Um, okay, so I love her too. Is this yeah. New Orleans? Where was it? Where were they? Oh, Salem, Massachusetts. Yeah. I'll check the email. Okay. Uh, I just have the video up right now. Okay. So I don't this is Salem. Away. No, it was Salem. Oh, my hair is so crazy. My hair looks good. Relax. No, it's all a disaster. Oh, okay, stop. so this is the the live <laughs> oh, picture. <stop>. <laughs> <laughs> See, so it's a, this little bit of mist. That mist is the one that's abnormal for me. You have all the other I saw mist. the orb. The orbs is what got me. Are we talking the round things? So I, I saw the orbs, but like they're, this fo- is the, they're what focusing you on the mist. Yeah, you're just dying to believe this. No, I, 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 I'm not an orb person, as we said last <laughs> yeah. I'm not an orb lady. The episode. I'm not an orb person. And he also said he's not an orb person in the email. So and then we talked about like is somebody vaping? Is there mist in the area? So what he did was he sent pictures of he took a is picture. Is there a fourteen year old vaping in the vicinity? <laughs> he he took a picture of his wife taking the picture, which also makes me suspicious because why are you taking a picture of your wife taking a picture? He's also taking a picture of a TV, right? Oh, so in that, that video. All right, let's. Yeah, this is okay. his his wife taking the actual picture, and so there's no there's no mist. Here, here is a little. It's not as clear, but that's because of the flash. What, what are we? So they were just taking a photo of the foliage. Foliage. Thank God these two weren't fucking. <laughs> what did I say before? JFK what, was was what, what, was the thing I, what did I say before? It's foliage. foliage. No, you but what did I say after? Over. I said veterinary and vetrimen. <laughs> and vetrimen. Yeah, like, I thought you said vetinous. It was adventurous that you <laughs> said, but it was like venture. I thought you said vetinous. I was like, they're gendering <laughs> that. Hooked on phonics did work for me. Let's just say that. <laughs> so do you want me to read out the email he sent? Yeah. Uh, hey Shannon, super funny episode. Glad you guys were able to have a laugh. Just wanted to hopefully clear up some questions. I included some pictures of the exact same area my wife was photographing. You can see how clear the environment was. My wife and I don't smoke or vape. Yes, my wife was using a flash, but you can see the ghost disappears after the flash goes off. The quote unquote fog Fig sees is the ghost. Not too sure about the orbs, but those could have been a reflection from the flash. I'm not an orb person. Uh, the live photos my wife took before and after the quote-unquote ghost moves into the frame are as clear as crystal. Sorry you guys didn't really see what I was talking about. Still super funny. Much love. So it's he's talking about the mist. Okay. Not that the, second oh, the like, mist burst. Was the mist. Thing? Yes. Do you I want could to have been a queef. <laughs> it was the winter, right? Roll the tape. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Let's just see it one more time. So that's normal, normal. Right? Okay. See the okay. gap. That what is that? See the gap right there? That could be two pussy lips <laughs> shaved a couple days ago. Okay, I get it now. See what I I'm get... saying? No. Oh no, I wasn't saying to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it. I no, see the girl no. queefing in the back. Thank you. Oh, Salem, Massachusetts. This is my Zapruder for <laughs> Salem queef. Back and to the left. No, I I see. I guess I see what he's saying, but it's not really like in a form necessarily oh. to where we would think. Your mic's on. That we would think that it was like a ghost. No. Right? The mist, I feel like it's if just too ambiguous. If you said that you thought that was a ghost, I'd be like, I'm leaving. <laughs> yes. It's, 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 it's a little abnormal that you have that weird fog and then that little mist thing, but it's still like, it could have just been a gust of wind, you know? Yeah. This a is gu- really Italian science. <laughs> <laughs> a gust of wind, I don't know that you can photo- photograph It could have been a Holy that. Spirit, eh? It could have been a fucking yeah, yo. You had more to know on fresh There's somebody tribal. making a good sandwich <laughs> that day. You know, St. Anthony once told me. You know. 
Okay, last question, Ryan. <laughs> Good. What do you think happens when we die? Oh, fuck. Here we go. Come on. I don't know. I have a... My, my autistic sister is like, I think when we die, it's just TV static. Oh, I hate that it. That is... I that is... It. Hey, that's valid, I don't but like that's it. also horrible. Yeah, because last week, we went down to my aunt's for a... Uh, wow. Thanksgiving. Your Philly is really coming out towards the end of the show. Yeah. <laughs> really she, hearing it. She came, she came to my aunt's house for Thanksgiving, and she was like... She was like upset. I was like, "What's going on?" She always has her iPad. She's so autistic as fuck. And I was like, "What's going on?" She's like, "I'm writing my list." I was like, "List of what?" She's like, "My list of ten things I take to heaven." How old is like, she? Uh, twenty-seven. Okay, twenty-seven. List of, thing, list of things she'll take to heaven. Yeah. And then she was like, "I'm just worried they're gonna fall through the clouds." Aww. And I was like, "Ah, oh, <laughs> she's cute, no, dude." But she, oh, dude, she's the best. But it's nonstop. Every question she asks you, you're like, it'll. Just Send you into a spiral. No, that's that's pretty deep, man. Hey. That's, that's cool. No, TV static. I'd go with that. <laughs> I wow, hate that. that I hate it. I hate it, but it's. I don't like it. It makes sense. No, but then in a weird way. Okay, but... It's just and all the chicks you ever fucked in the nicest dresses <laughs> you've ever seen them in no, line up next to your casket. That's what I think heaven is. <laughs> but that happen. like uh... it's just me cranking my meat with two <laughs> bottles of Tito's <laughs> and an eight ball. <laughs> but that indicates consciousness afterwards. If they're static, that means that you're then just like in this you're eternity in of. I don't think there's anything to be. Okay, frank. lights out over. Okay, <laughs> yeah. lights out, darkness. I don't. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. I, you know what I mean? <laughs> you don't think about we'll it. You're see. too busy no, enjoying I life. I really don't. I don't think you about ever it. ponder about it. If for a second you go, what do you hope for? Like, what do you hope happens? I mean, I hope it's just like whatever the fuck you want. I hope okay. Up. okay. I hope, okay. Honestly, what I hope heaven is is the bar next door. Yeah. An, a dark bar with ten bar stools and you just, unlimited so, so coke, what, so it's unlimited what, booze. Your boys. So it's hose. what you want. Yeah. You hope heaven is whatever. I in your whatever brain, I want. You if I want a of, burger, eventually I'll take it. That's nice. That's and nice. that's ideal. That's, that's what I'm ideal. looking for. That's like when you watch like a. I don't know Supernatural, which I feel like no, maybe Harrington has watched. Supernatural. It, like those else. two guys. Supernatural. Yeah. Yeah. You watch it, right? Harrington, Harrington shook no? his head. He's okay. like, no, I've watched okay. a couple. Of, <laughs> <laughs> I've watched a couple. Of, I've watched a couple episodes. <laughs> or like Harrington um, shook his head so hard, I caught out of the quarter mile <laughs> like a deer ran across my. <laughs> <laughs> or the good place. Anybody? No, good, the place? good place. No. Okay, there we go. What's I got the him. Good place? I got him now. Good place. It was like um, Kristen Bell and uh, the guy from Cheers, Ted Danson. Ted okay. Danson is like the. I don't want to like give stuff away. I see what he looks like. Yeah. yeah I know so good in Curb. Ted Dancing, great. I never watched Curb. He's the brown hair. You like, never watch Curb. No. I'm gonna be like you, yelling at me. No, and we've had so many like uh, cast members from Curb Can on I the piss FDR real quick? show. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, we're about to wrap up, but go ahead. Yeah. All right, I'm you, coming back. Okay, go ahead. Oh damn! If anybody's listening on their headphones, anybody listening on their headphones, I'm sorry. You but never watch Curb. I've oh, never God. watched it. No, I've I've like tried. I've started like an episode, and I just can't get into it. Okay, but I'll I'll need water if I'm gonna drink any more of this. Um, but uh, in uh, the good place, it's basically oh Jesus! I'm not gonna finish that, and if I do, no, we'll finish it. Real hard thing. outside, everybody. Okay. But by the way, if I just a reminder, if I post a reel about us drinking after the show, I have to block my trainer from watching it. Yeah. So he doesn't see it. Uh, so in the good place, <laughs> at, the, you know, no, he's gonna yell at me. <laughs> You're drinking again. Why? You want me to fuck you? <laughs> if you want me to fuck you, you have to stop drinking. He's the sweetest, by the way, because like whatever's going on in my personal life, he always like checks on that, yeah. like before, like oh you didn't make it to this session or whatever. He's always like oh like how's your cat you're doing? Late. If you're so late, sweet. you were late. Two minutes late. <laughs> you were late. No, he he's always the later one, but he's like a. Does he apologize? He goes, I'm sorry, I was late. Yeah, he's like, oh, I had to eat after training, and I'm like, eat. that's hot. That's, hot. <laughs> that's great. But you it, gotta have him on a show. You gotta have him. On a I show. can't because it's I'm gonna be embarrassed. No, we will have him on and we'll ask like he could help me with my weight stuff and things like no, that. No, but you're gonna embarrass. Him, no, there's no way you can't embarrass me. What do you think I'm gonna do? You think I'm gonna be like, oh, ha, ha. <laughs> no, like, but you're gonna talk about you're talk about like porn thing or whatever because like we've never crossed those lines. Uh, like we'll be respectful through like video chat. Like we've never that like porn whatever has nothing come up. It uh, never come up. All right, so and maybe so like it's best. <laughs> maybe it's best. Talking about a trainer who is a porn star. My trainer is a porn star. My favorite porn star. My trainer. Your trainer is your favorite porn yes. star. Yeah. I'm glad I got this piss out of me, so I made some room. So come, let's do it. <laughs> what do we got? Hit me, Mikey. 
<laughs> Wait, so, what? So Figs wants, he doesn't live here. Well, he lived in Spain, but now he lives in the Canary Islands. Espana? Espana. <laughs> and so Figs wants to have him on the show, but you I. You gotta I, have him on. No, but it's gonna embarrass Lewis, me. Louis, fly him in. <laughs> All right, Dougie, come on in. It's, Rob Diesel. <laughs> it's gonna embarrass Dougie, me. Dougie, you wanna come? <laughs> Dougie. <laughs> Uh, I already came too many times on TV. French. Is he French? French. I, no. hate the, I hate the French. I hate the French. I hate the French. Don't start this. He also has Spanish, European, he also has... He hasn't nailed the Spanish accent, so he Spanish. goes into So French. many pussy bullets. <laughs> you look, if you would have said you were fucking Spanish, I would have been like, yeah. I'm a, just a mud blood, brother. At the end yeah. of the day, I'm if just If you would have told mix. me you were like a retired goalie. Yeah. I'm just, <laughs> the MLS, uh, yeah, I'd be like, yeah. yeah I'm just, He's shifty as fuck, this guy. <laughs> I'm just all Most penalty fucking. minutes in the history of the MLS. <laughs> yeah, dude. The fucking chubby MLS. Um, so I will not Do you ask used to him. be shredded? I played football for a second. No, I was just a little, I'm a little bit leaner. I, I got I got a I got I'm big boned. You look powerful. I'm powerful, but I, I eat a lot of carbs. So I like how you started flexing for the camera. I was like, yeah. Ugh. Have to and do I, it. And I gave up. It's a fun screenshot for the thumbnail. That's a great screenshot. <laughs> oh, just, fuck. Just me oh, sat. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, no. Fuck. Me up. They're coming, uh, they're coming with Jorge. paper towels. Jorge, paper towels. That's why I get, why I get for flexing too hard. <laughs> they're coming with paper towels. It's all good. Thank you. Do you train people? Why are you so jacked? What's up? No, I just... You got to drive. Dude, I had fucking three gyms. <laughs> good. In the court order of it's the really state of water. Philly versus... What kind of fucking pussies are you guys that you're like, <laughs> oh my Philly, God, we're worried about it. I Philadelphia didn't, didn't versus... <laughs> Thank you, Mike. I'm not going to make him they're do gonna it. They're going to pull this footage up and be like, you got to drive, man. Okay. That How, would be funny if I got arrested. What is no? Not going. No, you're gonna hang out. You're gonna drink water. Gonna is, hang. is Philly? I'm gonna buy a sandwich. I, I'm going to I get pizza. Wanna... Around the... <laughs> Hell yeah! Come I don't want to tell you. I guess if you don't know like the neighborhood that my parents live in, but I'm just curious if Philly is closer than like the suburbs of Pennsylvania. Um, Does that no, help at all? There's like the north. Like depends where your parents. Yeah, I'm not gonna ask you where your parents live. We'll yeah. talk about it afterwards. Yeah. But you can, hit, you can hit Pennsylvania like way quicker than you get a Philly. Okay. Like okay. a half hour sooner. So, but if an Uber from Staten Island to there is an hour 40 minutes, is that closer or further than you? Further. Oh. It's closer. Your it's closer. Pay, where you're going is closer than okay. when I got to go. I'm wondering, but it's not if, bad. I'm wondering if there's like a cheaper option, but that doesn't take me multiple days. If there's no Amtrak? What goes? you should do is probably Uber to Trenton, right? Or Edison. I take and then the go to Trenton. Have a, and then take the no, train. No, it's true. Yeah. Go to Trenton and then go from there. But I hate the train. I hate the train, I'm too. trying to tell Which you train to take the train. Is it, is it I'm like trying a, to tell you to take the train and I'd rather die than take the <laughs> I train. Wait, but what kind it. of train is it? Is it like a Metro North? A choo-choo. <laughs> it just goes. <laughs> Polar Express? But is it like a nice, like, L-I-W-R? Please mark that down. What kind of train is it? It's the tank engine one. Is that a coal train? You know any retarded kids? <laughs> the one they like. It's blue. <laughs> and put Tom Hanks on it. It's a blue tray. What a tart. <laughs> you ever see Castaway? It's something like that. It's oh, a blue yeah. tray. It's a blue tray, guys. It's Thomas. What kind of tray? <laughs> no, but there's different trays. You ever heard man. of his son, Chet? <laughs> Chet the Chet? Jimmy Hickok Tray? <laughs> Pussy <laughs> blood clot. Pull your clot. Blood boy. Bad boy. What a nightmare. What a we'll disappointment to his family. I think he rocks, dude. I don't, White boy I, summer? I don't even hate him. White boy summer. Is like great. when I watch his things, I don't feel like hatred in me. I'm like, I mean, good for you. You're you gotta let him great. cook, dude. You ever see him on Eric Andre on the no. Eric Andre show? Oh no. man, Eric gets him bad, dude. And he's he so crushes awesome. him. Yeah, that's what guys like that. It's a problem because you're like, you can't talk to actually funny guys because yeah, exactly. they're gonna put you yeah, in a corner and beat yeah, you the fuck up. Yeah, it's yeah, over. Gonna fucking get you, dude. Especially you got like, yeah, you I gotta be know. really cool, but he wasn't that cool. He was yeah, you weird. gotta. And you uh, go, I see why your father. He's working. like one of those guys who's like half cool. He's yeah. like, I'm cool. He's and cool, but he knows they're they're filming a TikTok. Also, but on, a, on a like a live podcast, he was kind of weird. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were pulling a <laughs> napkin with like a bet written down on it. <laughs> Let's see if this hit. Am I an illusionist? I'm like, my grandmother time, wrote this. Thing. You were thinking of. <laughs> you remember that documentary? It was called <laughs> like a, Saving Private Ryan. <laughs> okay. Oh, I boy. think we have to wrap now. We did. We're going to do Great a episode, go man. You're a breath Hell of fresh yeah. air, dude. Thanks go around for the table me. and do a quick round of plugs. Let's start with you, Figs. Comic Mike Figs, YouTube, all that stuff. If you're in the city, come to the comic strip uh, Friday, Saturday, 8 o'clock show, 10 o'clock show. Come on by. Uh, you guys are the best. Thank you for supporting the page at Comic Mike Figs. Ryan. What up? It's Ryan L. Foster underscore on Instagram. 
uh, foster care on YouTube. If you want to see retarded guys talk to themselves <laughs> in a work van for 20 minutes a day when I'm driving to work, hit up that. Uh, oh, yeah. Besides that, I'm, I'm, I'm with uh, Tim Butterly and Mike Rainey Thursday night at Helium. When's this come out? Uh, so we're streaming live right now, and then it airs on YouTube Thursday. So wake the fuck seven. up, drive down the Philly. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. Tell seven, those guys. I think it's 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock. Me, Mike Rainey, Butterly, Del Calo, Jake Patera, whoever the fuck. And then every Thursday I'm at Helium, 10 o'clock. For Nightcap gotta, Philly with Brian Fennell, Courtney Reynolds. Yeah. Come down, bro. Let's plan Intern. a fucking podcast where you, me, Rainy, Butterly. We all I'm down. Hang all the out. boys. Hell yeah. Oh, I like how you it. just uh, got me out of. Shannon, trouble. you're in too. Oh, sorry, you're in. You, know you can bring us okay. drinks. Hold on. Okay, bye guys. Shanny too. <laughs> you can talk about the rock for fucking three hours. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Shannon Lee six nine eight two. Wherever, wherever. You, this is. I wish we could do this at the beginning, so I didn't have to do this whole you're thing fine. at the end after drinking all of that. You're oh, two, you guys are fucking pussy. <laughs> we're like, we're like, you only had one drink. There's <laughs> four Ryan, cups. So there's many many four drinks. cups. Like, so, so many drinks. Jenny, you only had like one drink. There's four. Like, if you play beer pong, what the fuck, Jenny? Uh, look at the look at the Tito's. God damn it, we did so bad. We're not doing we better. Good. I think we did, we did good. good. We did we good. We should like put a mark on there, and then try to do like less <laughs> next week. Yeah. Wherever you listen to the show, you can also watch it live for free every single Tuesday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern at gasdigital.com slash live. That's absolutely free. The best way to support the show is to go to gasdigital.com. Use promo code TTI. You'll get a one-week free trial, which gives you access to every single episode of this show we've ever done, as well as every episode of every show on the Gas Digital Network, all for free for one week. If you listen on iTunes, YouTube, make sure to rate, review, leave a comment, subscribe, tell a friend. Every little bit of interaction helps the show to grow. Uh, we appreciate everybody that hangs out in the YouTube live premiere, which is on Thursday at 7 p.m. And uh, usually me or Figs or both of us hangs out in there, and it's the dinner table. We hang out with you guys. Oh, we yeah. love everybody hanging out in there. Go to MerchEngine.com for t-shirts, hoodies, and mugs. What am I forgetting? Something. You guys oh. like the real housewives of <laughs> Gas Digital. I like I it. I like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Write that down. Yes, I like <laughs> the whole that. chat's going to be like, fucking guest was kind of hot, right? I'll suck them. <laughs> and if you have uh, stories for bad dates, bad things, or scary things, send it into the thing is podcast at gmail.com. I feel like, can we ask some t- something to the eight ball before we leave? Yeah, can, let's do does it. anybody have a question? Oh, Harrington has a question. Go, Harry. No, I just thought you were asking if you had time to ask oh, the eight ball something. Okay. Somebody. I got a question. Okay. I got a question. Hold on. Let's hear it. Will the Swedish black girl <laughs> affect Foster's life in any way in the next week? There's no chance. In the next, is she dead? <laughs> she will be now. Are you ready? It. Are you ready? Can we get on the camera? It, it's not going to say it, but you read it. Yes. It says yes? Just straight up yes. Told her run up, get done up. Yes. Oh, I do see yes. She's coming back, brother. <laughs> get prepared. She's coming for you. She ain't coming. She's coming back with a vengeance. But tell us next week so we can give everybody an update. I will. <laughs> I'll call in. <laughs> yo, man, I'm so sorry. Can I, I mean, Miss Cleo, <laughs> you guys call me. I'm going to be like, yo, dude, I was sorry. Pussy was blood <laughs> clot. She no, never you're going to be the, the Philly psychic. You're Don't right. Go. I was drunk that episode. It. I didn't mean to bring up your ex, but <laughs> did she show up in any way? This Give me week? the outfit. I'll be done deal. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for listening. Thank you so much for being on the show. You're the man, dude. Of course. Dude. Thanks for having me. We'll be back next week. Peace. Bye, guys.